Can you hear me typing? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Will we die today? So speaking of dying today, what? Where does where does everybody's spell slot sh spell slot sit? I've got a whip. I can whip it good. Um, I'm at full since we took a short rest. I'm level three. Oh yeah, I need to I need to rest because like I have a fair amount of the low level ones left. Yeah, it's got low levels. Okay. So it's gonna be extra hard today. Yeah, it's gonna be super hard. Awesome. <laughs> I don't have any more hit dice too. Well, I have one hit dice left, just in case. Yeah, like I'm at a fourth level. Um, third level, I have a couple. But... Okay, so y'all didn't take a long rest between um, the masked one's room and this, right? Is yeah. that what happened? I believe we took a short rest inside of the... The temple. Place. Right. Okay. So, um, did we take if... another short rest after that? Or I think just... we were still inside the temple, weren't we? Yeah. Huh? Y'all. So y'all are still inside the seat of water. And if you need to, you can take another short rest. Um, specifically while everybody like becomes acquainted with their new magic items. Uh, so. I'm guessing all of last session was going, was arriving within the bubble where the, the seat of water's portal is and getting an idea of what's going on with the, the weave and the chaos the way, right now that's being in, that's ensuing. By the way, none of our cameras are up on stream. I'm gonna have to move this to this monitor. Okay, maybe it'll stay now. I don't know. Hooray! Um. So. Uh, as you, as best. you. Uh, arrived within the dome and you found the platform that mirrored that at the Temple of the First Ones in Maze End and took a moment to view the weave, you saw that it was in utter chaos. There was, um, Colin, holy shit, hi. Uh, there was one part of the weave that had a little bit more stability than the others, which was spirit. Though, uh, at the time you didn't, you have all decided at, right now at this moment still to not alter the weave in any way. Um, so you all decided to go into the seat of water, finding, of course, a note from the spectral that used to hold that position while Nimu was uh, turning into an electric sheep. I was blasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was sheep blasted. Allowing the weave to take from him all of the chaotic energy within himself. Which, strangely enough, this would be the only time that that would be able to happen because of everything going on with the weave right now. So you all found the note uh, left from the old spectral. You found the chest that was left to aid you in whatever it is that y'all decide to do. Now, the note itself was, of course, much different than the, the note from the spectral of the Seed of Land. But there seemed to be a little bit of strife going on there for some reason. However, you are still within the uh, seat of water. You have just taken a short rest. Nimu is looking very worse for wear. Um, we're just going to say that Jax takes this time to uh, swim amongst the sea creatures and uh, deal with some of his inner turmoil. There was no decision made on what you all, what you all wanted to do with the weave. So, um, and I'm sure Nimu is going during that short rest will have realized everything that you lost. 
So I'm going to give you all a moment to talk, uh, decide what you want to do. I'm going to step away for just a couple of seconds. I just look at uh, Jax like, oh, of course he gets to go out there, but when I try to do it, everyone drowns. I'm not a huge fan of water. I let him have all his fun. First, uh, like, starts to take uh, his map and, like, trying to make up his mind on where we should actually go next. Were we doing anything with this? Was what? Was it we? Or... Yes. I... giant glowing thing in the middle. I kind of stood in it for a while. I don't feel so good. Oh, shouldn't... <laughs> yeah. I don't, think, I don't. I don't know that we need to do anything. This this place does not seem corrupted like the last one. I don't recommend standing in it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, we had a conversation a few hours ago. Um, about how we could release the energy. Is this what we did at seat of seat of uh, land earlier? I think so. Hmm. I'm not, I don't entirely remember. <laughs> I thought it was, we were releasing the weave that controls the energy or limits the energies. Yeah. We're just like kicking the limiter to the side. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So at the seat of land, you were able to uh, release uh, some of the energy to allow, uh, you know, greater arcane energies to blood into Avonvon. Right now, it is in chaos. The weave is... It looks like a cat's been throwing around balls of yarn. Uh, it, was, it was like not being able to put that in any better way. It's very... Um, energized? Uh, kind of? In a way? So, our goal is to like put it back together or to even ruin it further. Is it the energy that's chaotic or the weave limiting it is like in a chaotic state? Uh, so the entire weave is just in a chaotic state right now. Uh, you can assume that that is from what you did in Mindrum Mountains, uh, which is allow all of that energy to just burst forth into the ether. <laughs> and allow uh, the weave to uh, take some of that energy and it's just it's it's like being struck by lightning over and over and over again it's it's not stable so I don't know if you wish to you can try and stabilize it or you can try and um, even maybe pluck some more threads to make it even more unstable to uh Kind of help it along as far as its decaying state. As you all know from seeing it uh, last session, there were parts of it that weren't even connecting. The only parts of it that seemed to be connecting um, in any kind of meaningful way was the red weave of spirit. Is Zane still with us or did he pop off somewhere? Yeah, he had to leave. Y'all asked him some uncomfortable questions and he... Um, took that as a, you know, it was his time to go. I gotta go. See you later. See you in a week. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we asked him who he was, where he came from. <laughs> yeah. Never. He's like, fuck you guys. We didn't ask him his, like, romantic history. No, that was I enough blew for up him. for you, and all, all you could do was ask me some questions. I know. I literally exploded it. You just are like, who are you? What are you doing here? What are you gonna do? But no, no, no. Um, so, um, um, so, so that, that is, that is up to you guys. You can, t you can mess with the weave. You can not mess with the weave. Either way, um, Rondon is waiting for you outside of this space uh, back on Avonvon property proper as far as within the Wolfden Falls. 
uh, to do whatever it is that you are all going to do. If we need oh. to fix it, we can always come back. This is true. Yeah, I think Doris is knows more about Doris knows more about this than I do as a person. Like, I think he would view it as we're restoring Avonbon to kind of its original state, its un unmodified state, and so he would he would want to release the limits on the magics coming out of here. Now, me as a person, I don't understand why we're doing this, but <laughs> I think that's what he would do. Just go with the flow, man. Just go with the flow. Um, so you do know that in the past when it was chaotic, uh, that was the problem within Maze End, and that's what happened with the afflicted. Yeah, so I think he wants to just like the entire plan to be natural. Okay. That's that's what Dorus wants. Um, can, I, can we like pr try to see if Remembering what it looked like last time, can we, like, see the limiter on this? Uh, you would be able to perceive it. I think we have to go back outside, don't we? Yeah, you would have to, you know, will yourself back to the platform. Oh, I thought we were, like, in the column of light chamber. No, 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 you're still within the seat of water. I'll just pop it back out. Okay. Um, I think we're I, done here. I need, I need to go back to Maze and Hollow like ASAP because I don't feel good and I need to talk to Mita you can do this of course like like right away so yeah, as well, you let's finish here first okay I'll just be over here <laughs> poor Nemo uh, so as you all will yourself back up to the platform Rondon is waiting there um and he kind of abruptly stops himself mid-conversation. Though there's nobody else there. And he just kind of looks up to you all. Uh, so did you find any of everything that you were looking for? There's, um... Something's very wrong. What's wrong? Right? You all can oh. see what's going on. I can't see any of this, but I can feel it. We can see, like, the uh, beam of light, right? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with it? The the very chaotic energy. Um, so, we're... I'm not anchored. Uh, I feel disconnected still. Is there anything that you all can do about that? I don't know much about this magic stuff, but what if we release it further? I... I, I don't understand any of it. I the, just... The weave. I just want to bring my people back and I don't feel an anchor to be able to do so. There's no thread to... for, for them to follow. Do, does that make sense? Makes sense. Alright, so... Uh... Investigation, some, somebody with the best investigation, somebody with the best arcana, and uh, arcana investigation history and perception. I'll do history. Okay. That's I'm the only one I'm good at. I'll do investigation. I'll try. <laughs> what do you got, Dorus? 21 arcana. Wow. I got a 7. I got a 13 on investigation. <laughs> Good. 21 perception wow okay so on average the rolls are really really good you are a able to low tier and a high tier yeah well you have a 21 solely was above you know mid um you have so you are able to perceive the limiter the the biggest problem is right now it, it think of it as like a ceiling and but the ceiling is very similar to the bubble that y'all are currently in and it's constantly being pushed on and so it's con it's just undulating and you can feel now the surges of power as this limiter is consistently just undulating under whatever is going on the for Derus specifically you know the red is the weave of spirit there uh that one more and more seems to be almost 
even from the time that you left to now, has just a little bit more connected. There is uh, the, the anchor of the land, which y'all are quite familiar with having been already to Maze and Hollow, is once again broken up and fluctuating a bit. Though not nearly as much as the anchor of or the this the weave of water. The weave of water itself looks to have been frayed. Now, collectively, you can all come to the assumption that because this area has been in a stasis, the stasis itself, because of the energy now within the weave, is decaying. It is, it's just fraying at the edges. Now, you can all take some time, if you wish, to stabilize and kind of smooth out the edges of this singular thread here for the for the uh, thread of water, if you wish. How would I go about that? So it would be very similar in the uh, way that you worked in Maze and Hollow, where the person who is most familiar with the runes or the language of it, which would probably be Dorus in this instance, um, with the help of Rondon to translate some of it because you rolled so hard on high on Arcana. There would be Eowe, Nimu, and Soli. You three would be attempting to hold the energy in place as Dorus molded the runes back to the way that they should be or as close as possible. All right. Sounds good. So you all gather around and begin this process. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, but my ass is like, I just lost four levels. So I'm getting there. So I'm just, I'm over there just sad <laughs> and, and deposed. The weak owl. The weak owl. The weak owl. Um, as Soli and EOA. Uh, Eowe, you're able to kind of manipulate your hold rune to stabilize this part of the weave a little bit. Soli, you just use your innate power. Uh, though you try to use the power of your shield, of course it fades immediately and it doesn't work. Uh, but you are able to, in a, in a way, transfer some of your, your fire ability to burn away the frayed edges as Dorus begins to remold and reshape some of these runes. Nimu, you come into aid, attempting to play just a song of holding or a song of strength. And it's yes. discordant. It's yes. The strong the song that I'm playing, it would be incredibly discordant to be it would be a song more of uh not sadness, but uh not really put together very well, huh? The notes are off. Yeah. It doesn't have a steady beat behind it. And you all truly begin to understand what Nimu has been trying to tell you all. Uh, and it takes a good 10 minutes or so. Dorus, it is exhausting work. As somebody trying to describe symbols to you instead of having an ability to draw them out to visi visibly show you what it's supposed to be and then it also them not being able to see it you're like it kind of has this shape and this shape and this shape and it does this little swirly thing is that supposed to be there no it needs another swirl and you're it's like it is exhausting work but after some time you feel something click into place solely e away energy that you had been that, that you had been expending to try and stabilize this lessons Dorus one shape suddenly clicks into place and you see this pale blue links just start snapping and weaving together and is no longer shaking and incredibly frayed Rondon just takes a deep breath well I felt that um, I... Are you all okay? Yeah, really? How about I, you? I guess it's the main question. Do we feel anything different? A little bit. A little bit. 
Whereas before it was like this constant vibration, it smoothed just a tiny fraction. But if you wish to try and manipulate the weave more, for whatever reason, you can try. It is still going to decay naturally at this point. You have no idea how long that's going to take. Oh, and also while y'all are standing there intimately within the weave, trying to do what you need to do, um, you notice that the darker blue of the weave. It's more like an indigo. Um, is pulsing. Which it wasn't doing before you all went into the seat of water. If I, like, touch it, does it activate? It doesn't activate. But as you try and feel what's going on within it. You get a strong urge to get the fuck out of it. It's as if multiple people are just screaming at you at once to flee. At, the, at that moment, I'm like, as I grab it, I just like it seems to really pull back and I end up in the water. <laughs> you just like stumble backwards and hit that wall and go bloop right into the water. Or didn't I have, like, have to wish myself into the water? Yeah. Uh, I just like. You, so you'll bounce off the edge of the bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you yeah. Could, we can say that you stumble through it and Jax kind of swims by and just gives you an odd look as you're like bloop bloop and just, you know, <laughs> tail whips you back in. You're not having a great time with water. Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to fix the we were just trying to like So with my uncle, so I'll just try to feet <laughs> of water is Wolfden Wolfden. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember everything that happened, still. Nibu just has no clue what's happening in the corner. I, I feel, well, that's the thing, is I feel so lost right now, like I'm... Yeah. I'm trying to remember... So last session... I had just left... Last one's... Chamber. Turtle. Right, the turtle. Ended up back at Wolfden Falls. Right. Went into went went through the door that Rondon was able to open. In there was the platform that led you to the seat of water. The platform itself is where Nemu exploded. All this shit. Right. All ended up at the seat of water. Read the note. Talked about the difference between this note and the seat of the land. Got your magic items. Yeah, I guess I'm just having a hard time visualizing everything. And without a visual representation, I just feel lost. Oh. I'm in a bubble. Okay, we teleported into a bubble. Yeah, the bubbles. And we're There's surrounded by mermaids? Yeah. You are. Surrounded... There was a mermacorn. There was a mermacorn that you summoned. Brother. Okay. So we're in a snow globe. We were sheep for a moment. Yeah, the sheeps. You were okay. bah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, the story you claim to be telling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> within the bubble, you so the bubble itself is surrounded by seawater. Within the ocean, you see coral reef and uh, forests of seaweed. The seaweed itself. Uh, Beyond and within it, you see formations of coral that are buildings, structures, old, that you can tell have uh, long since been growing by itself without the aid of either magical means or mundane means. But you can tell at one point it was a town, a city, a massive city. Like, uh, you know, the Little Mermaid City, kind of. 
There's other bubbles floating within. Uh, the one that you're currently in has the platform very similar to the platform of the Temple of First Ones where you can see the weave. Beyond that, uh, within the sea, you can, we, but within the Forest of Seaweeds, you can see other bubbles that have like terraformed almost. They have, some of them have what looks like old farmland that hasn't been killed or could have been homes that people who breathe oxygen needed, whatever it is. So you are within this one. There's stunted trees, tropical plants, blooming shrubs, a uh, very strong citrus smell here. And the weave itself is what you are trying to work on. Rondon is trying to bring back the Keenson. Right. He said that he couldn't get his people back because the the area didn't feel anchored. Being mm -hmm. that his people are in stasis, they need a way, they need some kind of thread to follow back. And that's what y'all just fixed. They fixed. Yes. Okay. All right, so we did. We just fixed the thread yes. of them coming back. Okay. For this place, it seems like yeah. I yeah. think uh, Varus would take a step back, kind of like shocked that we actually fixed it. Like, I think this is slightly better now. I'm not sure we should mess with it further. Yeah. What do you think, Uncle? Is this good enough? Yeah. He just kind of stops, and you see him as if he was listening to somebody. This should work. Is I... This, is the place still isolated, or is we do have connection with outside places now? I have to end the stasis for okay. us to be connected with the outside. <laughs> Before... The stasis is like the, the why the water doesn't flow type thing? Yes, and why everybody's gone. Yeah. I would prefer unless do you have a song of remembrance? Um I mean maybe I could cook something up. Like I can remember when I felt stronger. I need something to restore the memories of the Keenson. Alright, I'll try to I'm gonna do performance or something and see if I can uh what you, do you want? You may roll performance with disadvantage, but the DC is going to be stupid high. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Can we assist 17. by clapping our hands together? That's right. Yeah. It's pretty good with disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it I is pretty perform, good with disadvantage. Yeah, I want to perform a traditional Kinsen dance. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. It's yeah. very interpretive. Does that get... Does that mean you get down on all fours and you're like... <laughs> no, they're not wolves. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're wolf peoples. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> it's just a name, begin... man. It's just a name. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I took it quite literally. <laughs> you you begin playing... Uh, you begin trying to play this... Yeah. And... I'm doing the best I can. Look, I'm doing a good job with this song. Yeah, yeah. Do the best. And Rondon's idea is that everything that has transpired since they left, which is when the influx of people from Phenovis came. Yeah. There needs to be some kind of, some kind of ability for them to be filled in quickly on everything that has happened. So Nemo begins playing solely as he's practicing this song and going off and on trying to get it fixed. You begin doing one of the traditional Kinsen dances. Eowe is trying to clap along with Nemo and you get a few <laughs> Nemo, you get you get a you get like a bar in and are you barking the song falls apart so you start what? again Nemo. my song did not fall apart my song is beautiful <laughs> so <Right> he <again>. always <laughs> like <laughs> Jeez, guys, keep up. This is a perfect song. I feel like Doris is bobbing his head kind of like side to side because his ears are so big, so it looks like a lot of movement, even though he's <laughs> yeah, barely yeah, yeah. moving, right? Right. He's like walking along the side of the bubble, like trailing his trunk and just like touching the water base it barely. And then oh, whenever really this cool. whenever the song messes up, he like stops walking for a second <laughs> until he starts up and then starts going. Again. <laughs> My song's not messing up. You're hearing it wrong. <laughs> With those giant ears. Um... So you try a few times and you're able to get a bit more. Though so this is not a song that 
you have ever played before. It's, it's as if you have a memory, a broken memory of this song. You just can't quite get it all. Well, we can, uh, we can retrieve a tablet. Um, y'all, y'all are aware of Sherlumen, the library, right? The collective? Yes. As we have visited. I can have the shale binders prepare a tablet for what has transpired and share that information. It's going to be a long trip. Is everybody prepared for something like that? We can take care of that. I turn toward Durus. So we can get there much faster than we would normally be able to. If That's we visit these temples, news. we can we can visit the ones we've already been to, it seems. That is a month sooner that we can get the Keenson back. Yes, anything. So you, you need the song to complete the ritual. Is, that, is this correct? I... Why, why we must wait a month? Because that's how long it takes to travel there and back. Oh. But what do you what do you need Not from Mason that will complete the ritual for the Kinsen? A tablet to fill them in on what has what has transpired. I haven't been here. Oh, to fill fill their memories. I understand. Understand. We have blank tablet with us. Will that help? You need tablet from the information in the library. Have you filled we it with the? Go, with we need everything to go that there anyway. Two bars of one stone. I have a blank tablet that they gave us to record our adventures on, right? Oh. Yeah, he's looking for something that uh, kind of covers the last seven years. Eleven years? Eleven years? Uh, that sounds like something years. we'd have to have specifically made for this. Yeah. It a convenience store filled with delicious Slurpees. It does. Yeah. We need to go we can, back to the We can holiday, go and come back quite like. quickly. We may be gone for a few days, at least. We may yeah. have to stay in Mazen for a few days to help our friend Nimi out, but we'll come back as soon as possible. That's wonderful. I haven't seen Mita in years. Are you our central here? Are you allowed to come with us? You are welcome to come if you wish. Yes, I. Oh, you need to. You need to be to. the one to fill out tablet. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought we were like bound here because you are sentinel here. I have visited the temple very infrequently in the past. Don't think he's been here in the past 10 years or so, right? Yeah, it's been like 11 years. Yeah. I'd like to ask him, can you see anything more here on the, the pillar or the dome that you cannot see before now that we have changed it? I see nothing. All I... I can feel that... I'm home? I don't know if that makes any sense. Have you ever woken from a dream and you're not... You don't feel like you are there yet. You awake yeah. and it's everything around you seems foggy and for hours upon hours you walk and you're not sure if you're still dreaming or if you're truly awake. Not usually. I've had those nightmares. I, we have I just one other question for the rest of the party then. Is is you see these colors over here and I like pointing out the different orange and green and there's like that purple color and like different colors than like there some of the one was flashing like the violet indigo one i think yeah i pointed out to the rest of the party and i'm like i think maybe we go to this place next it looks like it is the most chaotic after after we fix this one i believe it is uh cinder crest maybe the place yep. sounds scary Nice. Yeah. He's like got his map out too and like trying to figure out where that is. But hey, for what? now, I think we go back to the Sismita and get this tablet made and try and finish here and then we, we can figure out where to go. Sounds like a plan. I'm guessing what the color means based on my notes. And Cinder Crest sounds fiery. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind that. It would be, it would technically be Thought Flora, which is like a deep blue. Um. I have colors written down from that session, but I only have like six of the ten, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
isn't that's fine wait where was cindercrest was that the isle island yeah cindercrest is far to the northwest which yeah. is a okay. violet uh, i was thinking of the silent run for a second yeah i didn't have uh, one written down as dark blue so i yeah i didn't know that was the yeah. flora yeah um the fire island yeah. And um, we're in just regular blue right now, right? Well, then fall. Yeah, blue. you're in like a pale, you know, ocean blue. How do we get there? Do you have the magic to teleport? How does that work? Is that run ready to go? Is Jax coming with us or should we leave him here in the water? Eh, he was smelly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean,. What, what do we uh, see Jax is doing? Is he just like AFK? Uh, you saw him briefly kind of swimming by. Um, oh, well, he jumped in the water to hang out. That's right. Yeah, well, he built himself into the water, probably to go learn some more forms. You'll be there when we get back, right? I have, a, I have one slot for sending, so I'm going to send Jax ascending and just be like, we are going back to see Mita in Mason to help Nimu. Do you wish to come or... You'll need some time here. You can reply to this message. You can reply to this message. Um. Wait, was that 25 words? <laughs> no, I think it was way more, but I leave the you can reply to this message off. He'll just think thoughts yeah. back to me as a fish. Should I start doing the hands? Yeah. The he counting? Would, he would send something back. Yeah, the... Uh, along the lines of... It would be trying to figure things out. I'll meet you when you return. He wishes to stay, so I think we go. I pull the mm -hmm. key out of my satchel. Okay. And I walk to the side of the dome, like just up against the water, and I put the key into the water and crack it open. As you put the key in, you see the water begin to solidify into ice and you turn it and the ice opens and on the other side is the seat of land. Is it like inside the room or is it like the... It's pillar? in the room. Okay. It's in the room. Does the door open in or out? Uh, I would imagine it opens out. Okay, then yeah, I just hang on to the key in the door and if we're ready, let's go. Okay. Hey, let's go, Uncle. So, Rondon kind of pauses at the doorway. He looks in. I, I did push him through. <laughs> He's like, I reassure him, and I'm just like, the magic of the ways is very strange, but also very powerful. This will take yeah. us to a seat of land up in Mesa and Hollow. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Come on. I... Trust you. And he'll stumble his way in as Eowyn just kind of like shoves him through. Uh, I don't so know how quick we have to be for this. You don't. I think we just leave the door open. Yeah. Yeah, but you can if leave. If we the leave, door we have to leave the key, and we want to keep the key with us. So. Yeah. So everybody walks through the door of ice. You are now within the seat of land with the beautiful vines and the dust that looks like it was grown specifically for whatever purposes was needed here. And if you want, you can will yourself up to the platform, the Temple of the First Ones. And of Think course, sitting- Oh thought. crap, did we bring him into the chamber? Yeah. Oh, I thought it went to the top. I didn't know it went inside. Okay. Uh, can he see it? Like he can see normal stuff in there? Yeah. He hasn't been in the chamber of the other place either. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll, I'll tell them that, and I'll like, kind of explain that we've been here, and this is what the inside of the seat looks like. This is the seat, and this is the seat of land, and there's a similar chamber like this in Seat of Water in, in uh, Wolfden. So, so he's like, goes out, over to the, he, he goes over to the desk, and he's like looking at all this strange stuff, and he picks up the scroll, and as he picks it up, it immediately pops back onto the desk. This is like... Um, not different dimension, but like um, side dimension, like in place, but different, you know? Oh, can he pick up one of the items in the room? It, uh, the, the, the whole wall disappeared after you had picked up everything. Oh. Uh. 
and I, I, tr I try to go back to the door and I close the door and I'm trying to figure out how to like pull the key out from the other side of the door into this room and keep it with me <laughs> so and close it at the like, same time. Trying to figure that out. <laughs> you can't do that. However, you can like, you know, pull the key out and as the door is closing, go like walk in. Yeah, I think um, this is the first time he's used the door, right? So he's uh, like confused yeah, about so. it. Uh, so as the, the letter, as you're describing everything and the letter disappears, well, I guess um, I'm not allowed to read what was left. And then he goes to touch the crystal and it's like there's a barrier over it. I don't think you're meant to be here. That's fine. Um... They just left me for an eternity of servitude. It's okay. That's fine. just we all have a lot in life, I guess. Suppose so. Think up. Ours lasts a lot less time than an eternity, though. That kind of sucks. You have the better part of the deal. I think so too. Might think different if you get your path changed and no longer have eternity well when I'm dead maybe I'll come back as somebody that lives in eternity like a tree or a mountain you believe in reincarnation eh I mean it seems the most viable option to me at least I want to think it's true what are the other options just not being alive anymore spiritual extension all kinds of beliefs some, some people think you could become a god i think that's weird then there'd be a lot of gods that'd no, be kind of strange we've also seen a lot of spirits that have passed on but have not gone anywhere They're that's just hanging out that's true maybe i'll end up finding the answer to that i always thought you just become sand sand why would you be? Can you imagine how much sand there would be with all the people that have died? Have you been to desert, Nemo? Yeah, but like with all the death and stuff, like how much sand does does every person that died turn into like 112 pounds of sand? Or I mean, there's also ash. Does it just accumulate on the top or in the bottom or in the middle? Like, how does that work? I mean, when you decompose, you turn to dust. Oh, you're talking if you die. Oh, so if you died on the sand, you would turn into sand. I think this is why Nimu doesn't ever know what we're doing because he focuses on this stupid littlest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm think you're curious. quite understanding me. Well, so so if you die, so you're saying if you die, you turn into little crystals. Sure. Okay, I'm just curious about how people view this stuff. I've never spiritual really beliefs, thought about it. Spiritual beliefs, everyone has their own. You know, you have to make up your own mind. Whether you follow someone else's beliefs, or you make up your own, or you find your own. I want to come back as a creature that just gets stuck on the ground all the time. Flying kind of sucks. Maybe like a lizard. No offense. Third size, and he's getting, like, a little bit annoyed. Like, oh, uh, right. well, we, maybe Mita can help you with this. And I, like grab Rondon by the shoulder and I like will myself and him out of the chamber. Alright. So that beautiful pinky color absorbs you guys and you end up on the platform. Uh, solely I'm going to imagine that you would follow shortly behind as Rondon just left. Uh, and that leaves Iowe and Nimu within the chamber. Will Who yourself do you think I'd be upset by you wanting to be a, a lizard. I mean, it's just clearly an inferior. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I meant to say, I meant to say simple. It's a simpler form of life. <laughs> you better leave this chamber right now before I start stabbing. Well, you're like a humanoid lizard. You're not like a lizard lizard. I'm just saying, like, if you turned into a little crawling lizard or a snake... I, I just leave before I do anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the, the peak absorbs. I think uh, I upset the lizard, man. So, the, you are alone ten, talking to yourself. Oh. In the ten seconds they were talking in there, I just, I'm like, I'm sorry, Rondon. We do get things done from time to time. I, trust me with this. Rondon? 
is facing the other direction of, of, as you are. And just kind of looking curiously. Nita? And as you flip around, just as EOA pops up onto the top, you notice quite a few different things. Let me know when you're going to will yourself up. Um, well, I, I'll do it. I'll, I would I would have done it after I noticed everybody was gone and I was talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so... Good conversation, guys. There are uh, what looks to be a fairly comfortable tent. Quite large setup. There's a few tables set out as right now it's not raining. There's scattered drawings everywhere. And with her back turned, kneeling over a large piece of paper as she's scrawling, is Mita. As she flips around, just as you appear. Rondon? Guys? What are y'all doing here? We took a long, scary vacation, and now we're back, and I need your help because I'm broken. Bro I think we got kidnapped by a cat. So she rushes over to Rondon. <laughs> yep, a cat. And gives him the biggest hug and looks over towards Soli. <sighs> You've returned. This is amazing. I have. Uh, I have. And you, you found your uncle, and your uncle is here, and yes. you're, you're all here, and you're missing one. The king's in. He turned into a whale or some yeah. shit. He's like flying, but, floating around in the ocean. But the kids are going to be taken out of stasis. This is big, Mira. This is super big. That's amazing. I I might have something for that. I there's got to show you all something. And she seems much different. Yeah. Very distracted. <laughs> and she start she like kneels down and starts shuffling papers together. And you specifically would notice right away that she's been trying to write songs. And as you all kind of gather around, she's muttering to herself as she's moving all of these sheets of paper around. So after you left and after we did the, the Shallows Veil fall, I, I went back to Chris and I there without you there, there's not a lot that happens, really. But there was this this weird energy i don't know what changed exactly and then like a week ago i was up here and i started to hear so much there was this this song and she pulls out a couple of pieces of paper and she starts showing to showing them to you not even giving you a chance to to see them this this music and it's it's this underlying something and, and 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 I know it's somewhere and I I, I haven't been able to finish I gotta get there. But there's she and she pulls out a few more pieces of paper and she shows them to you. This is this is something else. I think they're kind of interwoven and I, I can't can't really separate them, not yet. But then something just changed recently and, and, and this one and she pulls out the piece of paper that she was just scratching on. This one is is really really strong right now. It, and and I, I think this is this is the one that, that the the when we were in Chris and all of that stuff happened and and we saw the ghosts and we saw the people. This I think this is the song and she just blanks out for a minute and do continues to. Do I hear the chanting? A little bit. Can I uh, discern if that's what she's talking about? Um, it seems to be. As you hear her humming to herself, some of the beats match, but it's as if the chant itself was somebody else's idea of what the song is that she's humming. Yeah, it's just a different interpretation of it, but she just seems to be listening and writing and then she turns to you, Nimu. I, you said you were broken. What what happened? I stepped into the weave, and it took a lot of my ability. Yeah. Now I'm just weak. And then um, I, we were um, there was the masked person who took away one of my spells, and 
somebody called Tracalas was trying to take all my infused firepower for whatever reason. Or where were you when that happened? Oh, okay. So we were in Wolfden Falls near the temple. We fought some creatures, um, and then we were like in a ring of fire and. Inside a turtle. We were inside a turtle. Inside a turtle. turtle. Yeah, dead turtle. Did and it have a I... song? I think it had a song. Do you remember what it is? Um, it did have a song. Yeah, I could yeah, totally. No, I remember that. I, yeah, I could I don't totally. Remember <laughs> I remember I can, I can doing best... one, but not a song in the area. Yeah. I could play it the best that I can remember. It had an yeah. underlying like. Everywhere, pretty much everywhere you go, there's an underlying hum of some kind. Um, so she is like trying to get as much information from everybody as she can about this place that she doesn't know about. Um, and so you offer to try and play the song. So make a performance check for me. Fourteen. So as you kind of like start playing the song, Mita's trying to hum it along with you and she stops you. She says, wait, 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 wait. It's all connected. Don't you see? There's, there's, there's the same tone is underneath all of them. Listen, and she'll play, she'll play a tune that uh, everybody make perception or history checks. Five. Eleven. Eight. Wow. Okay, so that was great. So as she keeps talking about like this underlying song, none of you have any idea what she's talking about. Rondon grabs her <laughs> around the arms, stops her, and just looks down into her face. Mita, I need a tablet of the histories for my people. Is anybody in Sherlumen that can help me? Like, well, Mundrin isn't there anymore because uh, he he left. He he ran away. Uh, he went uh, because he was a traitor. I don't know who's head of the library. I've been a little bit busy the last few weeks, but I'm sure there's somebody there. Uh, the, the minders can help you. I There's always a shale binder there preparing new tablets. Rondon pulls aside you, Soleim. I don't know what's going on here, but I have to get to the library. Yes, let's go. It is a day there and a day back. Yeah. Help Mita, please. Okay. Yes, I will. Anything to bring the Kingsman back. He'll kind of turn to the rest of the group as Mita just starts mumbling again. I don't know what has happened here, but I do know that whatever is going on, you are linked to it. Please try and figure out what she's doing. Can I like walk around the area a tiny bit and see if I can like hear it? better yeah make a perception check 12 a 12 um That's you my can highest roll tonight yeah you can still hear the chanting um and it is just this low drone right now and you get an idea as Mita starts humming again that it's familiar, but not just to this place. 
when you were in the shallows, there was the same underlying undulation of some kind of tone. When you were in the shatter, when you were within the turtle in wherever celestial place that was out in space, that also had this strange underlying tone. And as you begin walking and listening to it and Mita working on this song, you begin to drift. Roll a d6 for me. Oh, this can only end well. Five. A five. So, as her song begins to kind of build an intensity, nobody else can hear this build of intensity. But within your mind, Iowe, you're, with, you're focusing on it. You once again are reminded of the smell of that pungent cleaner within the masked one's turtle shell. Uh, and you can feel the vastness of the nothing around you. You go to take a breath and you're, it catches as if there is no air to intake. And it snaps you out and you're still walking around the platform, but kind of that strange, uh, not really charm, but almost breaks as Mita stops playing for a second to get it right. Okay, so you said you were broken, but there you can still play. Yeah, I just don't have any connection, I don't think, to any of my other stuff. Here, watch. I'll try to cast, like, Chaos Bolt or something. Nothing. No nothing happens. It's like I felt stuff being drained from me. It's a hard thing to explain. When I stepped into the weave, like an idiot... You, you you just need more songs. That's it. You need what? more songs. If you can teach me more songs, I will gladly learn them. I, I have them all here. They're, they're just, we just got to figure out this main one. Okay. Um. Try to think. Sorry. So she starts pulling out all of these papers. She looks... She kind of just briefly stops and looks up at everybody. I... I don't know what's going to happen when when the song finishes. What? Um, she kind of gets like a hesitant, worried look on her face. You mean when you finish writing song down or when song itself is done? When it's complete. You, you remember the, the, the Shallows Veil Fall when we were playing the song and we were able to connect with um, our friends and our families and those that we knew before. Um, I don't know where this is going to bleed into. I'm calling it the Song of Transcendence. Ooh, I want to learn it. Can I help? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And she starts, like, playing again and scratching and, like, rewriting. Um, so there's going to be a lot of combat coming up. And uh, just as obviously, like, out of character, this it, could take a while on. if we want to take a long rest. I would like rest. to caution them, and I want to ask Nimu. Perhaps, perhaps we start with the littler songs first. You know, learn all the smaller songs so we have more right. powers back, and then we work on this big song at the end. Right. Let me ask Mita. Mita, do you have the song of Baby Steps? <laughs> uh, the the song of of of. Um, or just maybe T or T R. She starts mumbling to herself again. We we could we could write a song of of birth. Of, of rebirth. Did we write a song of rebirth? She went from baby to birth to rebirth. <laughs> like, this is her thought uh, process. Also, Doris would mention Jack. So he'd be like, also, if this new song is so important and may have large ramifications, we should come back and do it with Jack's. Ooh, 
what time of day is it? Um, I think it would is probably it late be... enough? To... Yeah, it would to be late enough to take a long rest. rest. Yeah. Yeah. Do we stay here or do we go back down to the village? There, she has like this large tent set up. She has her own cot in there with a couple of tables because, you know, like the weather here is not steady. Um, but you can set up your tents here if you wish. Oh, we just realized. Oh, God. How was I supposed to get Atmos up through the teleportation? We're going back there. I mean, I don't, I don't think you, we brought him with us, did we? You could have. It wouldn't have been a big deal. He would have been pissed. He would have been freaking pissed. First off. I know you want out. Just think you want out. So, <laughs> you know, in the room, he's like tossing his head and he knocks you aside. Um, and so you just grab him by the reins and like pull his head towards you, looking him in the eye and trying to make him understand. And he would probably be the first one up. Uh, so when when you all arrive, of course, and you notice Atomos, he is rummaging through all of Mita's supplies, looking for the, the beautiful golden fruit that is the apple. Um, <laughs> And he, you hear him munching on stuff. There, There is crunching going on. You have no idea what he's found. But there are bunches of grass up here. Uh, some of them are sentient, though, so that, that'll that be interesting if he decides to eat any of them. So you are you able a bunch to set of up tiny screams and he is over there like... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Don't eat me! You, Don't you are eat. able to rest if you need to. Don't eat the forbidden fruit, Atmos. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to like break your game or whatever, but like if it's important, I feel like we need Jax here. So I think he would at least mention that if we're going out tonight and doing it, then fine, whatever. But. Out of uh, like out of game, this is Nemo's way of getting fixed. So, um, OK, cool. Yeah, fuck Jax. yeah it's uh, He's a traitor anyway. He tried to get solely killed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jax so is just is... in the water doing his own thing right now. Yeah. So also while we're like out of game a bit uh i was thinking back last night in my terrible lucid moments because i haven't been able to sleep in days that um all of the things that everybody is going through mainly right now like obviously nemo's going through something and we are all working together to try and help him uh Jax is also going to need the group's assistance somehow some way i don't i don't know how that's going to work i don't know what it is assistance that you can all do whether or not it's reminding him of things that have happened, um, you know, treating him as if he has like short-term memory loss and just helping him to regain memory, whatever that looks like. Uh, you know, these are team events. So, uh... I don't trust him. Mita we all, will... We all re remember your long argument with him last time. Could yeah. we take a short break? Yes, we'll take a break. As the long rest, I'm assuming we're doing? Sure. <laughs>